Ursula von der Leyen has trodden in some diplomatic dirt today. She went to Dublin to mark the 50th year of the membership of Ireland of the EU. And she congratulated Ireland on the five Irish virtues, the first of which is freedom. And then she went on to talk about that. This country knows what it means to struggle for the right to exist. Today, another European nation is fighting for independence. Of course, Ireland is far away from the front line in Ukraine, but you understand better than most why this war matters so much to us. Just like our friends in Eastern Europe, you know that in Ukraine, there is more at stake than the future of one country alone. Ukraine is fighting for freedom itself, for self-rule, for the rules-based global order. Now, at face value, that doesn't seem to be too alarming, but buried underneath that is a pointed dig at Britain and the idea that Ireland was fighting for its freedom from Britain. Well, indeed, there were freedom fighters. There was uh, a lot of um, aggression that went on. And the difference is, I think, um, that Britain granted that freedom very rapidly. And that was at a time during World War I. I think it is foolish, foolish of of Anderlein to make that comparison. It is quite right, of course, for her to recognize that Ireland recognizes and champions freedom, as does Ukraine. But it's, of course, it's open to interpretation. A number of people like Jacob Rees-Mogg have flown into action accusing van der Leyen of extraordinary insensitivity and aggression and um, intemperate, undiplomatic, unwise, wrong. It shows uh, an ignorance of the UK's relation with Ireland and a tragic failure to understand the depths of the wickedness of Putin's invasion of Ukraine, which has led to the slaughter of innocent people. The first part, I think, He's overstating the case. The second part is absolutely right. There is a wealth of difference between um, even our injudicious lingering presence in Ireland into the 20th century and the invasion of Ukraine by Russia. There's a wealth of difference. Uh, it would be easy to laugh off van der Leyen's statement as just another EU presidential faux pas in the finest traditions of Jean-Claude Juncker. But um, is this a more serious gaffe? I'm not inclined to think it is, really. I think this is a storm in a teacup, and I don't think that um, Ursula van der Leyen intended anything more than to draw parallels between Ireland's uh, commitment to the freedom of an individual state and Ukraine's commitment to freedom and our commitment as a, as a global um, unity to that freedom and to that struggle.